Welcome to the Idea Maker Basics Guide. In this guide, we'll cover how to get started in preparing your first prints using automatic presets. To begin, download the latest version of Idea Maker on Raise3D.com. After installation, you will be asked to select your printer model and version. Idea Maker will remember these settings for future sessions, but if you ever need to reselect your printer type, simply do so under the printer dropdown in the software. Single extrusion. 3D models can be created in a variety of modeling softwares. To ensure your model is compatible with Idea Maker, save your file as an STL, OBJ, or 3MF. Import your 3D model using the Add icon or by dragging and dropping your file into the workspace. Inspect your model by clicking and dragging the workspace to view around the model. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If you need to reposition the view position, click and hold the center scroll button to pan the workspace. Look for any large overhangs in your model. If your model has these types of overhangs, we will need to add supports to prevent print failures. Left-click your object and select the Support icon in the top bar. A Support Structures menu will appear. Select the Create Auto Supports button to automatically add supports to the necessary areas. Press the Start icon to open the preset slicing templates. In the new pop-up, verify that the selected printer information matches your printer model. In the filament section, click the left extruder dropdown to see the available materials. For single extrusion printing, the left nozzle will be the primary default for printing. Select your desired material. In this case, we will be using the 1.75 mm PLA that is included with the printer. This material offers four different templates for different quality finishes. Select your template based on your desired outcome and click Slice. A new menu will appear when slicing is completed. Select Preview to view your model as it would appear printed. Then, press Export and save the sliced files onto the included USB drive. In IdeaMaker, you may also upload directly to your printer if it is on the same network. Basic Dual Extrusion Dual extrusion printing has many variables that can affect printing. For first-time printing or troubleshooting, use raise 3 d PLA in both the left and right nozzles. Import your two STL files into the workspace. Select both models by holding Shift and clicking or using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-A to select all. With both models selected, open the Model menu and select Align Selected Models. This will align your models to the coordinates that were used in your CAD software. If any supports are needed, it is recommended to add these manually to avoid supports overlapping with the model. In the Support Structures menu, select Add under Manual Supports. Click the location on the model that needs support to add a pillar. Enable the View Mode and select the model that you would like to assign to the right nozzle. In the Model Info menu, specify the extruder. Remember that the colors used in the software are only used as visual aids and do not represent the loaded filament colors. Verify that both models are set to different extruders, then select the Start button. Verify that the printer type matches your unit. Select the material type for each extruder in the filament section. Select your template based on your desired outcome and click Slice. When the file slicing is completed, Select Preview to view your model as it would appear printed. Then, click Export and save the file to your USB drive or upload directly to your printer if it is on the same network via IdeaMaker. Initiate Print. To run your print file, insert the USB through one of the available USB ports on the touchscreen. Select the Print tab and open the USB storage to see the available files. Locate your saved file and select it. Verify your selected settings and press print. The printer will automatically heat up to the proper temperature and begin printing. Once your file is started, you are free to remove your USB.